Disney's Animal Kingdom, we're checking out Tusker House, which has just reopened. We're going to see all of the plant-based breakfast options for the new family-style meal. So come join us. So we just got seated and we are given jungle juice. Uh, which is delicious passion, guava, and orange juice, and a nice hot cup of coffee. Uh, they are bringing me some silk soy milk to put in my coffee, and they've got the info that we're doing the plant-based, so I'm very excited. This is their first day, so it might be, you know, a little bumpy as they're working things out. The first time guests are back here in a very long time, but we're very excited to be here and try out the new options. that uh, normally comes out here at Tusker House. It is coconut-based yogurt with fresh fruit. And I know the photo that I shared originally uh, on the blog post had vegan donuts and also vegan cookies. And there was chocolate syrup along with the strawberry preserves and vegan butter. But it appears today that they do not have the vegan donuts. They're checking on that for me, but uh, I'm not sure if that's something that they were just doing for testing. We'll find out more. This is the plant-based family style platter. It comes with breakfast potatoes, vegan and gluten-free Mickey waffles, just egg scrambled eggs, plant-based sausage, which is made in-house with their own spice blend. Excited to try that. And then instead of the chicken curry, it is chickpea curry with rice. Very excited. We also have, as I mentioned before, the fruit and plant-based yogurt I have confirmed, unfortunately, that the donuts will not be a thing. Apparently they had not only egg whites in the donuts on top, but they had a whole egg in the donut, so. <laughs> because they did not have the donuts or any other kind of bread pastry product for morning time, uh, other than these gluten-free things, which, you know, are very hard and not fun, um, the chef brought over the Papadam bread, I believe is called, which is normally available at lunch, but she brought it over just so we could try it. And of course the cookies are the Enjoy Life um, cookies, which are vegan as is. So I'll tell you how everything is. So that was our visit to the opening day of Tusker House uh, breakfast. We're gonna be back and do lunch, so stay tuned for that. All in all, I think it's a great option. Uh, the fact that you have just egg, scrambled eggs, is great. You're not having just one item. You have multiple things. You have potatoes. You have ooh, butterfly. You have uh, their house-made sausage, which I think was really great. And the chickpea curry was another fun option for something different, something unique. You have uh, Safari, Mickey, Goofy, Donald, and Daisy who come around. They come around to all the tables. And then there's two different um, dancing songs that they do uh, around the restaurant. So it really is fun and lively. I love all of the restaurants in Animal Kingdom are so incredibly detailed and this is no exception. I love Tusker House for that reason. So it's really just a fun place to relax and enjoy breakfast before you run out into the parks and go watch the Festival of the Lion King or ride Expedition Everest. Maybe uh, digest a little bit before you do that. But also you get this fun postcard at the end that's signed by the whole gang that's there. Um, $42 a person, so yeah, a good deal. again for day two of Tusker House. We're going to try the dinner option, which is also the same as the lunch option, um, and show you what the plant-based vegan choices are for that. It is very windy right now. There's a huge storm about to start, so very excited for that. Hopefully the power stays on. Stay with us.
have the papadon bread, which is vegan as is. I assume they could bring us over the gluten-free rolls, but I really don't care for them, so I don't really need to add those to my plate. Um, included with that are the coriander dipping sauce, red pepper hummus, and mango chutney, which if you go to Sanaa a lot, these will look familiar. So I'm very excited to try. Papadam was wonderful, super crispy. It is um, cooked in a dedicated fryer, so that's great to know. That's all they cook there, and it is vegan as is, so you don't have to worry about any cross-contamination. The uh, mango chutney, the red pepper hummus, and the coriander sauce are exactly the same as what you would find at Sanaa with the bread service. So I would be fine just eating that and going home because it's so, so good. Um, but we did have the salad as well, which is just a basic salad, nothing really to write home about. Uh, lemon vinaigrette, there wasn't a ton of dressing on it, but uh, I'm excited to try the main courses which are coming out soon. But again, I could just eat the papadon and be fine. We have the impossible chickpea curry, which is similar to the chickpea curry that we had for breakfast, except there is now impossible meat mixed in. Uh, I will ask if you wanted to have the stuff from breakfast instead of the impossible meat, if that's possible to bring out. So we'll find out about that for you. Also over here, you have the same seasoned potatoes from breakfast, more jasmine rice, which is delicious. I already snuck a bite and seasoned vegetables, which are seasoned with African spices as well. We've now been given the chocolate dessert that is completely vegan, chocolate mousse, Comes with strawberries, as you can see, and then these are little passion fruit and cranberry little dried guys. So I'm very excited to try this. It's all chocolate. We have some updates. Uh, I asked if you could get the chickpea dish without the impossible meat if you wanted to, which is the same thing that they have at breakfast. And they said, yes, you can. Just tell the chef. Uh, actually, ask to speak to a chef, and then they will make you whatever you want. If you want no chickpeas, and you just want impossible meat with vegetables, they'll do that too. Um, they're very accommodating here and that's great to hear because I know a lot of people sometimes don't want the um, plant-based meats, so now you have that option here. And I think it was delicious. It was a lot more um, vegetable filled than the breakfast one, which was just kind of basically chickpeas and maybe onions in the breakfast one. But this one had a lot of mixed vegetables too. There's pea pods and carrots. Um, it was really delicious, those same great spices. I uh, really enjoyed it with the jasmine rice. And then dessert, uh, which has a reputation already for being the best dessert here. I don't know for sure if that's true, but it was a delicious chocolate dessert. It reminded me of those chocolate eclair ice cream bars that you used to get from the ice cream truck. Anyone knows what I'm talking about when you were little? Um, that's the kind of chocolate it tastes like. It was really, really delicious very rich. Um, the little dried cranberries and passion fruit, so tart and it's a great mix if you eat those both together. I was like, ooh, that's really, really sour. Um, but it was very fun and different and uh, I really enjoyed it, so. Once again, we are the last ones out of a restaurant at Disney. I think everyone's gone home. of both breakfast and lunch slash dinner because it's the same for both lunch and dinner at Tusker House, newly reopened. Uh, those were the plant-based options. As we said before, I'm gonna repeat in case it was just a little too loud in there. If you decide you don't want the impossible meat added to your uh, chickpea curry, you can get it without that, just like they have at breakfast. If you decide you don't want chickpeas at all, they can make you something in the back. So make sure you tell your server that you're vegan and ask to speak to a chef and they can accommodate whatever you need. Uh, I think it was a great option. I would definitely be back. I loved all the different flavors that they had and the character interactions were great. Love the costumes that they have. I love the atmosphere of Tusker House, as I said before. I'm a big fan. Uh, again, you get these fun autograph cards <laughs> at the end of your meal. So now I have a collection. I will definitely be back. Let us know in the comments if you've been here uh, before and if you're planning on coming after so you can compare and contrast which you like better. Hopefully they bring back the buffet again soon, but for right now, I think it's still a great option. It is all you care to eat. Uh, so yeah, please like and subscribe if you haven't already for more vegan Disney food videos. See you next time.